along the road. Okay. So its side along the road here is parallel. And then it says that it's twice the side along the road. So another side here is measuring twice the side, which is adjacent to the road. Okay. And then the area of this field is also given over here. That is 10,500 square meter. And the perpendicular distance has also been provided over here. That is 100 meter. We need to find the length of side along the river. What is this length along the side of the river? That we need to find. Okay. Try this one. Try solving this one. If not, then I will be explaining it. Okay, now. <clears throat> yeah. Ahmad, are you there? Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Yes, I'm good. Uh, solve question number 14. Read the question at least twice. Okay. Do ask me if there's any confusion in the question. Amal, you were pres present in the previous class, no? <clears throat> By the way, guys, I'm not getting assignments regularly from you. Sir, I hmm? just said, I sent yesterday. You have sent? Yes, I just sent okay. yesterday. Then I will have to con uh, uh, <clears throat> connect with the team then. I haven't received it. Okay, from their side, I haven't received it. Okay, what about you, uh, Arhan and Ahmed? Sir, I also sent it. You have also sent it. Okay, okay. Actually, no. Yesterday, it was a holiday. That's why yes, I haven't received it. Okay, most probably, I will be receiving it today. Ahmed, you questions much more, you know? And Rahan, Arham, you guys also are understanding the question, now. Yes, sir. Hmm. Also, sir, I'm done. Done. <clears throat> Very good. What answer you are getting? Sir, 140 meter. 140 meter. That is the length of which side? The one that sir, is along that the... Is, uh, trapezium uh, shaped field. <clears throat> and the uh, length alongside the road is 70 hmm. meter. Okay, okay. Alongside road is 70 meter and here it is 140 meter. Good. So, <clears throat> Arham and Ahmed, would you guys like to explain me? Explain the uh, solution of it or uh, have, are you guys uh, doing it? Uh, so, I, I'm also done. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Meanwhile, Arhan, you move to question number 16 over here. Okay, okay, sir. Hmm. <clears throat> Try to solve the questions very quickly today because we need to begin with the new exercise and we also have to finish the chapter very soon. Okay. Yes, sir. <clears throat> sir, is X equals to uh, 70? Hmm. The x will be 70. 2x equals to 140, yeah. Exactly, exactly. That is correct. Very good. <clears throat> what about you, Ahmed? Are you solved earlier? <clears throat> Look. The question here says that the trapezium is shaped like this. And the area of trapezium given is 10,500 square meter, right? And this here is... This side here is touching the road and this side here is touching the river or field. It was field, I believe. You feel that, no? Yes, sir. A, B, C, D. We have done the naming. We need to find out what is A, B and what is C, D measuring. Right. So quotient number, this here is quotient number 14. So why not, as per the quotient, it says that 
the side that is touching the field is double the side that is touching the road. Yes, so we will do assume it to be exactly x and the uh, sorry, ये हमारा x होगा. So that will be two x then. Yes, right sir. now. So yes, now, <coughs> according to the question, half times length of the two that is two x plus x, that is three yes, x. Multiply the distance between them exactly. Here in the question, it has already been already been provided ten thousand five hundred square meter. Yes, right? sir. So let's cancel it out only here. So it will be x equals to ten thousand five hundred divided by one uh, fifty. Yes, sir. Okay, and then fifty times seven is hundred and five. So yes, and yes, also sir. one zero will be here. So x equals seventy. So two x will be. One forty over here. So it was a simple question. Moving on to the next question, which we have, that is question number sixteen. Arham, you were able to do it. Sir, I'm Arhan, doing. Arhan, Arhan, Arhan. Question number sixteen and question number fifteen. Arham, you have to do this one. And yes. Ahmed, Ahmed, are you able to get the <laughs> solution of question fourteen? How many cases solved here? Is that clear? Yeah, Ahmed, are you in the class? Sir, uh, in my question, is hmm. the distance between parallel sides twenty five or twenty six? It's twenty six. Okay. Twenty six. Okay. Yes, Ahmed, are you there in the class? Guys, is Ahmed in the class? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay. Ahmed, if you are listening, you have to solve the third one, question number seventeen, that has been assigned to you. Question: The the parallel hmm. side is eighty four, eighty four centimeter. Eighty four centimeter. Very good. So it will be simply half times x plus thirty eight multiplied twenty six equals to fifteen hundred and eighty six. Right. Yes, <clears throat> okay now. So it will be x upon two plus nineteen multiplied twenty six equals to fifteen hundred and eighty six. So x upon two. Plus nineteen will be equal to fifteen hundred and eighty six upon twenty six, right? Yes, sir. Okay. You can cancel by thirteen. <laughs> so twenty six six are one fifty six, and twenty six okay. ones are this over here. So x upon two will be equal to sixty one minus nineteen. So sixty one minus nineteen. That is how much? Um. Hmm. <clears throat> Yes. Forty-two. Forty-two. No, forty-two. Forty-two. Eleven minus nine. That is two. Five minus one. That is four over here. Yes, sir. So x will be two times of forty-two. That is eighty-four. So that is correct over here. Okay, Arhan. Done. Have you done the question number sixteen? Meanwhile, uh, Arham, you solve question number eighteen. Solve it. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, I'm done. Done. Okay. What is yes, the answer sir. you are getting? Seven fifty-two centimeters. One fifty-two 
centimeter square centimeter square centimeter it will be okay <clears throat> so question number uh, 16 is also a good question over here okay so all if you look at the solution of question number 16 over here yes, so in this parallel sides are given as follows what are the parallel sides given in the question so 13 no no sir no sir sorry 25 and 13 no yes sir <laughs> So say that this one measures 25 and this one here measures 13 over here. Yes, sir. Right. And then what else is given? Sir, so, uh, non-parallel sides are 10. They are 10 centimeter and they are 10 centimeter. We need to find the area of the tabs. Okay, look over here. We could find the area of the tabism if we were to... Uh, uh, it's actually a trapezium number and a parallelogram draw kar diya. Okay, look over here. It will be like this, right? Now no, it is correct. Hmm. So that is this much length is 25 centimeter over here. And this yes, one sir. is 13. Okay, yes, we need to find the area of the trapezium. Look here. The area of the trapezium, in order to do that, we need to have the measurement of the two sides, two opposite sides, uh, on, on yes, parallel sir. sides, that is being provided. But we don't have the height given over here, right? And by mere construction, mere by um, joining and um, uh, drawing a perpendicular line from D, uh, it, it won't be solved. Getting it now. But we'll have to do the construction. Exactly. So then what we can do now, we can actually <clears throat> mark 13 centimeter on the side AB and then join it to the vertex C over here. Yes, so that sir. will also measure 13 and that yes, one is sir. also 13. Okay. If the opposite sides are equal and parallel to each other, then the criteria is fulfilled fulfill that now this here is a parallelogram. So let's name this one also. So E, E, C, D is a parallelogram now right yes sir. <clears throat> and its area can be found out if you were to have the height because we know that the area of a parallelogram is base into height yes, sir. so yes, sir. base we already have we need to have the height <clears throat> okay now so look yes, over sir. here let's do a construction over here we have the height draw kardi. why will be taking the 10 here because height is a perpendicular line that is not perpendicular, no? This AD and BC are perpendicular lines, no? You know? Height will always be a perpendicular line. So let's take CF equals as the perpendicular height. <coughs> but then, we height to milke, no? We have got the height, but here you will only be getting the area of this parallelogram. You have the whole trapezium over here, so we have this triangle also. So look over here, exactly. There's actually no need to use the Pythagoras theorem. We don't need to use the Pythagoras theorem over here. Look, for the triangle um, EBC, finding its area is also easy. Half into base into height. Yes, sir. So what is the base of this triangle, guys? Sir, uh, it will be six, right? Base, base. The base of triangle EBC is EB now. EMR base and EB. And if AB measures 25 centimeter, if AB measures 25 centimeter, and by construction we have taken 13 out of it, so this one measures 12 centimeter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, Arhan. So that is 12 over here. Ahmed, are you getting it? That is 12. Getting it now. And then take this height over here now. Right? Yes, sir. Now we still don't know the height. So then what we will do now? This side is also already provided over here. Yes, right? Sir. And this much here, this much, let me use this one. Yeah. This one here will be measuring six centimeter over here. Okay. This yes, one sir. will be measuring six centimeter over here. Why six centimeter over here? Now that question should also come in your mind that why not five, why not eight? Because I am seeing that this is a parallelogram in which 
this side and this side equals are equal and this side is also equal ye bhi hamara 10 cm hai okay yes sir so can't i say that this actually is a triangle in which two sides are equal okay you guys know that there are triangles um, like isosceles triangle scalene triangle and equilateral triangle so this one is what this is isosceles isosceles triangle isosceles yes sir right so in an isosceles triangle when you draw a a, a perpendicular uh, draw a, a perpendicular in between the two equal sides then it will bisect the opposite side into two equal halves Okay. Getting it, what I'm trying to say, so that will be then six centimeter. That is how it is six centimeter. So, ये हमारा six है, ये हमारा ten है. So, can't we find this height over here using the Pythagoras theorem? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, in triangle EBC, side CF will be ten square minus six square. Yes, sir. That is hundred yes, minus thirty six. That is sixty four over here, right now. So C F equals to root under. Say sixty four. Sixty four, yeah, sixty four, sixty four. So that is eight over here. Eight, yes, sir. See, our eight whole gap. Now you have got the height also. Now we have all the necessary things we need to find the area of the trapezium over here. I mean, height mil chuka hai. And this height will be the same height for the parallelogram also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Now then, add the areas of the two. Start will be base into height. Plus half times base time height, so base over here is how much? That is thirteen into eight. Yes, sir. Plus half times base for the triangle. That is how much? Six. Again six. No, we are talking about the whole triangle. We are talking about this triangle ECB. Sir, twelve, twelve, sir. So that has to be half times twelve times eight. So thirteen times eight. That is hundred and four. Then it is forty-eight. Forty-eight actually. You forty-eight hoga. So that is hundred and fifty-two square centimeter. Is the solution to clear? Solution clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> that is how we need to solve that question. All right. Next one was assigned to or ham question number eighteen. Done or ham? Yes, sir. Done. Hmm. Ahmed, you are not saying anything. Yeah, Ahmed. Uh, okay, I guess he's having again having network issues. Anyways, question number eighteen. What is the answer you've got? Uh, sir, I've got. Uh, uh, I thought the parallel side as eight. As eight over here. Hmm. Okay. Simple question. I will not be solving this one because it's a very simple question, and we have several times solved the question of such nature. Question number nineteen over here. Okay now. Hmm. So for the first one, Arhan, you find the area. Second one, Arham, you find this one. All right now. Yes sir. Yeah, and Ahmed, if you are able to hear me, solve question number twenty. Yeah, Ahmed, if you are able to hear me, please to respond. Question number ninety is also, in fact, of the same nature. Okay, in fact, the one which we did right now. Okay, now. So there's nothing new in question num uh, first part of the question number nineteen. Okay, now guys, there's nothing new in this one. This will also be solved using the same method. It's just that area of the parallelogram is already already given, so you just need to find the area of this triangle. Okay, Arhan. No need to do it on your copy. Just explain to me how you are going to do this one. Just explain to me. Yes, 
Sir, uh, we will first take uh, the uh, base of the triangle mm, that by, will be. Uh, by using Pythagoras theorem. To take the base of, let's say this is A B C triangle A B C. So to take its base, what we need to do? Look over here now. The complete distance is okay. Let's name it now. The side BD is already provided with two twenty-two centimeter. So side BC will be how much? Look, question also mentions that this figure over here is a parallelogram. So ये भी हमारा ten centimeter होगा. So this will be twelve centimeter now. So the base of the triangle is going to be twelve centimeter now. हमें यहाँ पे पाइथागोरस सिर्फ यूज़ करने की ज़रूरत नहीं पड़ी. Okay. Now then you will construct a perpendicular over it. So then again it will be six. It will be six. Using the same Pythagoras theorem, you will be able to find that this height will be eight centimeter over here. Yes. Getting it now. Right. And then you can continue with the formula half into base into height. Plus right? half into. Plus 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 eighty square centimeter. That is the area yes, of the parallelogram. Okay, okay. What about you, Arham? Any progress in the second one? Please, sir. I'm finding the area of the base. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what have you done? You have divided the figure or not? Yes, sir. I have divided, sir. Mm -hmm. In divided into what? First, I divided into a square. Uh, from F, I draw a perpendicular line from F to D. F to D. Yes, sir. <laughs> This already a D written over here. You can take any other. So what I did was uh, I continued the line from F, and mm -hmm. then I uh, went right for, uh, to make it from D. Okay, and then. And then I got the trapezium below, and then mm -hmm. the left one was a rectangle. This one, yes, right, right, good. <clears throat> Okay, uh, Arhan, see question number twenty now. Find the area of the field shown in this figure by dividing it into a square, a rectangle, and a trapezium. Okay. Sir, so it's the same question that I have solved. Okay, okay, okay. I saw. Okay, I didn't actually saw that. It's already mentioned over here, right? Okay, do let me know once you get the answer. Okay, now, Arham. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. Now. The next thing we will be uh, starting our discussion with is uh, what were the different types of polygons which we already discussed in our uh, in this chapter when we were discussing it. Okay now, so yes. guys, both of you do tell me that what do you understand? Ahmed, are you there in the class? I'm still not able to hear you. Is Ahmed guys is he here? Uh, is Ahmed in the class? Yes, he is. Okay, okay. After the class, I will have to connect to him. Yeah, what is the answer you are getting for this one? So the area of square is sixteen centimeter. Sixteen square centimeter, good. Uh, the rectangle is forty-eight square centimeter. Okay, four plus four. Right, that is how much? Area of rectangle you are getting how much? Yes, sir. Area of rectangle, how much you are getting? Uh, area of rectangle. Uh, sir, 32 centimeter. 32, okay. Yes, sir. 32 square centimeter. Okay, and for the uh, this uh, trapezium over here. Uh, sir, 44, 44 centimeter square. Okay. Okay, so this one is four. This one is four. This one is four. How much you are getting? Sir, I'm getting 44. 44. Okay, look over here. It is this height, this length over here is eight centimeter. Yes, sir. This is three centimeter, and the distance mm -hmm. between the two lines is four centimeter over here, right? Yes, sir. So it will be half into eight plus three. That is eleven times four. Okay, so that is twenty-two over here. Are you getting the same value? Uh, no, sir. I was getting forty-four. Forty-four. Why would you be getting forty-four? 
So, yes. Uh, uh, I took mm-hmm. the, uh, the altitude wrong. No, altitude. I mean, four line. I know this whole A B here is just twelve centimeter. Yes. So four is already taken here. Hmm. This much of distance is four. The rest, yes. this much of distance will be four. So the remaining will be four now. That Sir, is twenty-two. Sir, F and H so, will be uh, five centimeter. Which one? F and H. F and H over here. F and H. This here. Yes, sir. How come it will be five here? No, this much measures four. This much is measures four. So this much will also be four now. This one is a square. Look, as per the question here, we need to divide it into a square, a rectangle, and a trapezium. A square, a rectangle, and a trapezium over here. <laughs> So, as for the construction, here our four will be done, huh? not five. This much of distance will be. Here our total distance will be eight. Four plus four combined as eight. And this much of distance. Okay, this much is going to be eight, and this is three over here. So its area will be twenty-two. So twenty-two plus thirty-two that is fifty-four plus sixty. So that is going to be seventy square centimeter. Yes, sir. That is how much? Seventy square centimeter. Now move on to the next part of the discussion. So, you guys tell me that what do you understand by uh, convex polygon and concave polygon? Hmm. Shall I assign the topics then? Arhan, you explain to me what is concave polygon first. Arhan. So we didn't have this in this chapter. We don't have this in this chapter. Look here, yes, <clears throat> it's actually the part of the mensuration. Okay, although we discussed it in the quadrilateral, the different types of quadrilateral, we have discussed it. There also. Sir, uh, hmm? so the concave polygon is a polygon which, uh, uh, which. One interior angle is at least one eighty degree. Mm, exactly, <laughs> guys. Actually, I believe we discussed that in the chapter. In the chapter mensuration, we have discussed it. In quadrilaterals, also we discuss it uh, a little bit. Sir, okay. I, I okay. Okay. Look here. <clears throat> As uh, Arhan, you are explaining concave polygon. So concave polygons. For example, suppose you have a figure like this. So in this, you get to see that there will be at least one angle, angle over here that is having a value more than one eighty. Take yes, this sir. angle. Okay, Arhan, look at this angle. Ahmed, look at this angle. That actually measures more than one eighty degree. Getting it now. <laughs> So that is why it's called as concave polygon. And then, if I were to join the vertex, opposite vertex, if I were to join, karta, for example, B and D, if I were to join these two opposite vertex, so do tell me, is this line inside of this figure or outside? Sir, outside. Figure ke bahar hai. It is not lying inside the figure. So, in the case of concave polygon, two criteria are there. At least one of the angles should be. <laughs> <laughs> should be having a measure greater than one eighty, and the second thing is that the line joining the opposite vertex may or may not lie inside the figure. Arhan and Arham, ye point clear up unko? Yes, yes, sir. Good then. Then just the opposite will be the case in the uh, in the uh, convex polygon. Convex polygon may like you have a figure like this. Okay, who will name this figure? What is this? Pentagon. Pentagon. Look again. Look again at the figure. How many sides are there? So six. So that is a hexagon. Hexagon, no. Hexagon, yes. Yeah. Yeah, hexagon again. Okay. Right. So convex polygon. Me, what happens that all the Interior angles will be less than one eighty. Yes, sir. Whether you talk about this one, this, 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 or this, all of them is less than one eighty degree. 
गेटिंग इट और नॉट नेक्स्ट थिंग इज देयर अगर हम अपोजिट वर्टिक्स को ज्वाइन करते हैं ए बी सी ज्वाइन एनी अपोजिट वर्टिक्स इज द लाइन आउटसाइड द फिगर और इन साइड द फिगर सो डायगनल्स इसमें क्या होते हैं द डायगनल्स विल बी लाइंग इन साइड द फिगर फिगर्स लाइक दिस in which all the sides measure equal and yes. all their angles are also equal to each other then that type of polygon will be called as what regular, regular polygon if all the interior angles are equal if all the interior angles are equal and all the exterior angles are also equal then that type of polygon is called as a regular polygon okay yes, no? and then you have got figures like this for example like this so here what do we observe that it's not that necessary angles are not uh, uh, equal exactly getting it now so that yes, is the thing with the irregular polygons neither the two angles neither the angle interior angles of the irregular polygon are equal neither the sides no. neither all the sides are equal to each other yes sir so you can have example of rectangle also as a irregular polygon in which like opposite sides are equal to each other opposite and parallel sides are equal to each other but not the side not the adjacent sides are equal to each other getting yes. it arham ahmed and arhan and then this we have the scalene triangle in which also none of the sides are equal to each other neither the angles are equal to each other that is simply the case with the irregular polygon theek okay. hai and uh, about the polygon as you guys know polygon is simply a figure which has at least three sides oh, and three angles yes. <laughs> and the figure has to be closed right so convex polygon ki agar baat karu to it can also be regular <laughs> it can also be regular and irregular all right yeah. it can also be a regular convex polygon and then irregular convex polygon getting it now so in the case of convex poly, uh, regular poly, uh, convex polygon simply all the angles will be equal to each other so ye jo figure maine draw kiya hai this hexagon it is actually a convex polygon right but if yes. i were to draw a hexagon like this okay does that look like a regular hexagon does yes, this sir. figure look like a, hex a regular hexagon no it's a hexagon but not a regular hexagon so that is a irregular convex polygon then okay why it's convex not concave because all the interior angles are measuring less than 180 and yes, the line joining the opposite vertex are lying inside the figure okay now okay then we move to the another concept which we discussed actually yeah uh, i believe we discussed in the uh, it in the topic of quadrilateral yes, okay yahan bhi ab revise ise kar lenge okay no need to worry about it right now okay so you guys tell me uh, how did we used to find the sum of interior angles yes <clears throat> you guys take your time recall it yes hmm so sum of all angles <clears throat> sum of interior angles is simply sum of all the angles right but what agar mere paas aisa figure hai like this <clears throat> like this 
then will you be like uh, adding the individual angles then ha huh? kya aap har ek no, individual sir. angles ko add karna shuru karenge no we can no. multiply the sides with the angle <laughs> we can multiply the sides with the angle right <clears throat> okay for example agar main ek equilibrium triangle ki baat karta hu remember this formulas which we are discussing over here it will only be applicable for concave or convex polygon sir convex it will only be applicable for convex polygon why not for concave because this is it's, uh, it's uh, <laughs> lion segments uh, are out. not equal to each other yes sir right now that is why it has to be uh, this formula has to be uh, applicable for only convex polygon so suppose hamare paas ek triangle hai the number of sides here is 3 and the sum of angles is 180 degree right okay then suppose you have uh, the square in which number of sides is 4 and then the num- sum of angle is 360 degree right yes, sum of interior angles yes or hamari there yes sir and then you have got the pentagon and in the case of pentagon you are having how much uh, what is the sum that is 720 so what is the pattern we are getting to observe over here hmm what is the pattern that we observe over here look here kya hum ye pattern observe nahi kar rahe yahan pe n minus 2 times 180 हमारे पास ऐसा एक्सेप्शन है लाइक इट्स ट्राइंगल कुड बी कॉन्केव कुड बी it's a such a convex polygon which is not regular it's a irregular convex polygon but still sum of all the angles here is 180 and the formula is applicable getting it now although a triangle can be a irregular polygon also right but still this formula is applicable for it theek hai na in fact if you were to have um, any another figure also like in which there are four sides okay for example a quadrilateral there also we get to see that um the sum of interior angles is equal to 360 yes sir. right now okay ab main baat karta hu like this pentagon so pentagon has got five, five sides. sides in it right and the sum yes, of all the interior angles will be equal to 540 yes sir how it's 5 minus 2 multiplied 180 that is 3 into 180 so 540 hota hai ye very good now right okay and all of you already know that sum of the interior and exterior angles is equal to 180 right so if you were to in- extend this figure so angle 1 and angle 2 will be measuring equal to yes sir 180 180, 180. right and using the same thing you can find the exterior angle if the interior angle is provided by subtracting that from 180 okay now this slide over here is very important for you guys basically the crux of all the formulas have been provided over here okay the properties of polygons are based on their sides and angles whatever property we are studying right now they are based on their sides and angles how like sum of all the interior angles of a n sided polygon is n minus 2 multiplied 180 so this is a very important formula hai. in fact when you will be appearing for uh, some competitive exams of uh, olympiads this is a formula you need to be you need to remember okay Yes, no if i were to find out the number of diagonals that a particular figure will be for example this pentagon mein kitne diagonals possible hai by calculation by construction i can found it out so then we have got a formula also right and into n minus 3 <clears throat> yes, and into n minus 3 upon 2 over here okay right so it's 5 into 5 minus 3 upon 2 so 5 into 2 upon 2 so that is 5 yes sir okay now 
सो वन टू ओके एंड देन थ्री एंड देन फोर एंड देन फाइव ओके शेर आई ड्रॉ दैट अगेन वेर यू गैस एबल टू सी दैट लुक हेयर फर्स्ट वन सेकेंड थर्ड ओके फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ क्लियर similarly yes, you can find it out for any other figure also so second formula is also very important that is n into n minus 3 upon 2 now then the next question comes the number of triangles formed by joining the diagonals from one corner of a polygon equals to n minus 2 right for example hamare paas ek triangle hai okay now and i need to know know that how many triangles i can form using this uh, in this triangle is triangle mein hum kitne और ट्रैंगल्स फॉर्म कर सकते हैं राइट सो इट विल बी सिंपली एन माइनस टू सो नंबर ऑफ साइड इज थ्री सो थ्री माइनस टू इक्वल टू वन डेट इज ट्रू इन फैक्ट क्योंकि हमने यहाँ से एक परपेंडिकुलर बाय सेक्टर और इनी लाइन हमने ड्रॉ कर ली इस बेस पे सो यू विल बी गेटिंग टू ट्रैंगल्स ओवर है राइट ओके बाय द वे एनी ऑफ यू हैव स्टडीड अबाउट वट इज अ मीडियन वट इज अल्टीट्यूड क्या आपने ये टॉपिक्स पढ़े हैं अभी तक हैज इट आई फॉरगॉट यू फॉरगॉट इट यस सर मी टू ओके लुक ओवर हियर सिंपल थिंग हियर इज नाउ कि हमारे पास ये टॉपिक्स आपको सिर्फ ट्रायंगल में पढ़ना होता है ओके सो फॉर एग्जांपल यू हैव अ ट्रायंगल लाइक दिस ओके सो इफ यू वर टू टेक द मिडिल पॉइंट ऑफ दिस साइड एबी And then join it to the opposite vertex, right? Yes, sir. Then that is called as a median. Okay. Yes, sir. All right now. And then, if you were to take this triangle, another triangle, in which from the opposite vertex C, you draw a perpendicular on the side AB, then that gives you altitude. Yes, sir. All right, an altitude can be or cannot be a bisector of the opposite side depending upon the triangle. अगर ये हमारा isosceles triangle है और if it's a equilateral triangle, then the altitude can be dividing the side AB into two equal halves. While if it's a scalene triangle, see over here, it's a scalene triangle, then yes, the sir. perpendicular bisector that is altitude will be like this. and we can see the base is not divided into half clearly right now yes sir okay <clears throat> now some of the another formulas are to measurement of each interior angle of n sided regular polygon is n minus 2 into 180 upon n right agar hum baat karte hain if you were to find out what is the measurement of each interior angle of this polygon over here okay what is the name of this polygon which Over here, क्या कहते हैं हम? आपको ये याद रखना चाहिए Okay, pentagon, hexagon, hexagon, septagon is there. Octagon and octagon, octagon. nonagon, and then decagon is there. Yes, right sir. Now. So this yes, much sir. you need to know. So look here. If I were to find out like like a a simple polygon is given here, I need to find what is the measurement of each interior angle. The formula required is n. <coughs> what is the formula required? N minus three upon one eighty. N minus two, sir. N minus two. N minus two. Okay, this was the formula. Ten into one eighty upon n. Hmm. Yes, sir. <coughs> into one eighty divided by n, right? So suppose, uh, okay, it's eight over here. So eight minus two that is six times one eighty upon eight over here, right? So that is going to be hundred and thirty-five over here, right? Likewise, we can find out the exterior angle also. 
So that is going to be 45 degree over here. Yes, sir. Okay, then. Then the measurement of each exterior angle will be simply 360 upon n. 360 upon n. So if you were to find out it using the formula, it will be 360 upon 8 over here. So that is again 45. Right. So take a screenshot of all these formulas and actually note them down in your copy. That is very important. Sir, I've taken. Okay. Arham. Arham and Ahmed take the screenshot. Done. Then Ahmed is not here. Ahmed is not here. Okay. So now we come to exercise 20.3 now. Right. So here also some constructions has been done in the question and we need to find the value of it. So here the construction is already done. Okay. Don't take too much time and try to solve it under a minute or two. First one who would like to solve and the second one who would like to take this one. I will take the second one. Okay, Arham. Arham, do the first one. <clears throat> right now, we are doing the... Uh, <clears throat> we are discussing about 2D figures only. In the next class or... Um, in the next topic that we'll be discussing will be about the volume of cube and cuboid. Okay. Yes, sir. And cylinder. And cylinder as well. Okay. What is the volume of a cylinder? What is the formula required to find out? Pi r square h. Pi r square h. Yes, Very sir. Good. Okay. <clears throat> Sir, uh, this, uh, these types of questions and these exercises are not in my book. I don't know how to do it. Okay, look here. <clears throat> so, second one you are doing, Arham. We need yes, to sir. find the area enclosed by each of the following figures as the sum of the areas of a rectangle and a trapezium. So, all of the figures have been divided into a rectangle and a trapezium. So, divide this one also by joining the two of two lines over here, two dots over here, right? Okay, okay now. So, moments ago, you had actually solved the question of same nature. Um, yes, sir. I will try yeah. this. Okay. Do only first one. Okay, now. Question number two and three is also of the same nature. So, why waste time solving too many questions of the same nature? Right? Sir, I'm done. Done. <clears throat> okay. What is the value we're getting over here? Say 50 to uh, 50 to point five meter square centimeter square. Square centimeter. 52.5 square centimeter. Okay. So look over here. Mm. 
<clears throat> okay. Uh huh. Second figure is not a rectangle; it's a square. It's a square. Ha. Huh, okay. The no issue in that now. We will take it to be square and then solve it. Okay. Mm hmm. Right now. <clears throat> okay. But got it. And that is how much. Uh, sir, the combined is one seventy two centimeter square. One seventy two square centimeter. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. I will come to your uh, solution. Let me see the first one. So, in the first one, we need to find the area of this whole figure in which the measurements of the sides are given as follows. So, this whole is AD is measuring as ten centimeter, and AG over here. Look at the arrows I am pointing over. Okay, now I not be uh, writing too much over here because figure will become complicated. So, AG ki measurement given hai eight centimeter. So, GD will measure two centimeter, right? Yes, sir. And then E H is six centimeter. Where is E H? E H equals to six centimeter. E and H. That is six centimeter. So yes, sir. By convention, G H will be again two centimeter. Yes, sir. Okay, no need to explain that. So G H is also two centimeter. Then further, E F is five centimeter. E F amara five centimeter. So this is five. So. This was two. This was also two. So, ये हमारे क्या होगा? One centimeter now, because the whole length of AD is ten centimeter. Then BF equals to five centimeter. BF over here that is five centimeter. Okay. And then next is CG. CG where is it? This CG that is seven centimeter. And then EH, EH over here that is three centimeter. Right. So now we have got what? We have got this. Triangle over here, in which base and height is given over here. Right now, yes, sir. so yes, sir. for triangle AED, simply, simply it will be half times uh, base is ten into three. So that is fifteen square centimeter. Yes, sir. For the first one over here. Now, in this one, we can see that we have got two triangles, and then this trapezium also, right now. Yes, and the length of it is also given, and the distance between them is also given. So FG will it not be two plus one over here? Yes, this sir. whole FG, so FG yes, is equal to two plus one over here. That is three. Now for this FG CB, this trapezium. If we are talking about it, it will be half times two multiplied three. Yes, sir. Right. So that is eighteen. Eighteen over here, and this one over here will be half into base that is five into five. So that is how much? Twelve point five. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, and then this one. Look over here. That the base here is two, so it will be half into two into seven. That is seven. So here, my seven. Hai. So finally, you will be adding all the values. That is twelve point five plus eighteen plus seven. That is twenty five. And plus this fifteen, so that becomes forty plus two point five. That is how much fifty two point five is per centimeter. Yeah, that is correct. Well done, Arhan. First one here it will be eighteen into eighteen. That is three hundred twenty four, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and for this trapezium, it will be half into seven plus eighteen. That will be twenty five into eight, right? So that is hundred hundred plus three twenty four. That is four hundred and twenty four. Is this the value we're getting, or not? Uh, no, sir. I I took the perimeter of the square. Why would be taking the perimeter? We need to find the area now. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. No issue. So rest of the questions, I'm assigning all of them as the uh, answer as the uh, assignment. 